And I hope right. that me and Glenn will be able to provide that for you right here. As we got Jarbs with the Falco going up against Spoopy with the Toon Link. Unless it's the other way around. The Dark Toon Link. No, you got it right. I got it right. Just yeah. making sure. Sometimes it's, they switch up and like they go to the opposite port for some yeah. reason. This is going to be hard for Spoopy. That's a frame one reflector that this bird has got. It's also the thing about like Toon Link's, you know, his, his biggest weakness. Again, kind of like what we said about Ness earlier. He's floaty. But unlike Ness, he doesn't have these giant hitboxes to land. And guess who just has the highest jump in the game? My guy, Falco. So it's like, it, right now, Spoopy's doing a great job. He's up 100% about, and he's keeping Falco in the air. To, bro, this guy made me shut up immediately. I was about to yeah. say, like, once, once this Falco starts juggling you, it's going to be really hard, but man... It looked like he could not land through that master sword. Dude, I'm pretty sure I I'm pretty sure as soon as I had said this was gonna be hard for Spoopy, Jarvis was at like 60. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Yeah, that's the thing, man. I mean, Falco, you wanna talk about that highest jump in the game. You wanna know how they typically balance that kind of stuff. They usually make, ironically enough, because he's a bird, the airspeed not that good. Yeah. Falco, like his approach is like sort of limited to stuff like that. He gotta read him with a dare right there, get like that insanely good lingering hitbox of the forward air out. What Spoopy is doing very successfully here is that he's not only creating a very good no-fly zone with these projectiles, he's beating Jarbs to the punch where he's going to land and remembering, oh wait, I have a sword. Yeah. I can swing where this guy is actually going to land. And he's combining those two things like a good Toon Link player should to actually keep him at disadvantage right now. Yeah, and, being, being, be, yeah and also just being at such a deficit versus a character like Toon Link, where now, man, that up there taking those two stocks in the middle of the stage, man. It's like once he's up this much, it's actually really annoying to fight Toon Link because he can just whiff punish with the confirm sphere, with that bomb. He's just gonna hang back, and that's his whole game plan. But man, actually, ooh, this guy making me shut up again. I mean, he's just going in. We haven't seen a bomb Pivot at all. F tilt to catch the Falco side B. Did you see that? This is a scary looking Toon Link. But honestly, this he guy might be is dead. aggressive against Falco, man. And it's not the kind of thing you see. Usually a character like Falco is the aggressor, and you have to sort of play around that as the up B should take the stock, actually. That yeah. ain't no Young Link. That's not a combo no, bomb yeah, up, bro. That's, right. That just kills. Yeah, that move, that move traditionally in Brawl and in Smash 4, um, it was a multi-hit move, but it, wasn't, it wouldn't kill you. Now in this game, they buffed it so that it kills you, which, again, one of his biggest flaws is that he's out of shield game is not great, but they give him that up B really good and here it covered everything he could have done at the ledge if he did neutral get up that's a multi-hit it's gonna catch that it would have caught his roll and it would have caught his jump the only option that jarbs had there was to get up attack that was a beautiful uh up B there get up attack or just drop ledge and try to falco yeah. side be back up but obviously that's dropping ledge and even, smash ultimate you know even that's that could have been caught depending on the timing even that could have been caught yeah, how much time would you really yeah. have? That's a big lingering hitbox with a big hitbox itself and oh, the we're confident seeing... switch. Okay. Interesting. My yeah. guy is doing a uh, a link ditto. Oh, I thought that was Spoopy who switched for a second. No. Oh, boy. One, we're seeing go. the uh, bomb link versus the arrow link. <laughs> <laughs> yes. One that's sort of more so about the combos and just essentially making you rage. Yeah. And again, throwing your friend's controller across the room. And the one, like my good friend Glenn said, is more about the bombs. Because Toon Link definitely does have those better bombs. It's got that different detonation time to them. Sends at the perfect angle for yeah, follow-ups. He, he gets uh, two more seconds before it blows up. And also the actual explosion's a little bigger. Um, but Young Link has a, a better confirm option. His arrows, he doesn't need to pull them out and hold it in his hand. He can just shoot the arrow, and he gets way more off of that than Toon Link does. Um, but man, Spoopy, uh, I mean, honestly, Jarvis is actually doing a good job here compared to last game. But man, these up airs are just like, he's losing every stock to up air, man. That was a good he's, frame trap. Yeah. That was a really good frame trap. He trapped him with the forward air, tricked him into jumping, and then just still had enough time to get that lingering up air on the way back down. Not even just that, but I feel like the neutral can be a little bit scary because these are the arrow confirms with Young Link that we're talking about. Toon Link's even floatier, man. Yeah. He's even floatier than Young Link, so I feel like he's going to have an easier job sort of navigating around these than a character like um, like we saw before, sort of like Falco would, even though that he wasn't the one playing Falco. I feel like Toon Link will just have a better time just flying through the air like a butterfly and at the very same time contesting with the fact that Young Link is sort of this stereotypical ultimate zoner with decent frame data and good, like, up-close normals, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I got to think that Jarvis maybe isn't, you know, uh, a, like, I, I can tell he's probably not a Young Link main because he's having a lot of trouble getting any, like, the the basic combos started here. Toon Link can be a little difficult to combo sometimes because he's, like, a weird size and weight. Um, but, you know, that's that's the game. And getting these uppers are killing him, man. Like, he's, he's trying to jump in and, like, land in the middle of the stage. In those scenarios, you just got to go to ledge or go to the platform. Like, characters like 
Toon Link, they are really good at, at catching you trying to jump in like that. Mm -hmm. the, you switch to Young Link, man. You gotta be prepared to play that long game a little bit. Hold your ground on one part of the stage until you can actually get one of these projectiles in. If anything, I thought when he went Young Link, that's what he was gonna try to do, but as you can see, he keeps trying to approach him from above, like you mentioned, with a falling back air, trying to probably get like that uh, back air one confirm into an up tilt or something like that. Nothing doing though, but finally right. bouncing off the top of the shield, getting that lingering hitbox with the down air in Jarps. Definitely down, but not out yet. Yeah, this is gonna be a really rough climb for him to, uh, it's gonna be really rough to bring this one back, man. Yeah, for sure. You see him just sort of sticking on the platform this time around. I feel like he's like trying to slowly figure out what he's got to do, but he just keeps putting himself in the air too much. And speaking of air, I think he might have, I think he might have honestly just air dodged into the blast zone there on the way back out. I'm not sure if they're aware. Yes, they are. Yeah, that, yes. that is best of three. There I was about go. to say these guys were like, I think he was contemplating there for a minute. He's like, wait, what? Think what? It, I think he was thinking about his life. What? I, I lost? And his choices. <laughs> you know, like trying to play young Link against another Link and not, you know, playing the zoner matchup <laughs> in there. I, I guess, yeah. It, it just be like that sometimes, I guess. You know, Toon Link, generally considered to be the worst of the three Links. There is debate onto that. Mm. He's just uncommon is what he is, yeah. is the thing. He's got his own stuff that's separate from the other links. Yeah.